And now on to the dinosaur of the day, Crichtonsaurus, slash Crichton Pelta, which was a request from Marcos, so thanks. It was an ankylosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now China. It's possibly the oldest known ankylosaurian. It's not clear if it had a tail club, though. It was herbivorous. It probably ate low-growing vegetation. Gregory Paul estimated that Crichtonsaurus was about 11 and a half feet or 3 and a half meters long and weighed up to half a ton. But Crichtonsaurus is a dubious genus. It was found in 1999 at Xiafuxiang in Liaoning Province in China and described in 2002 by Dong Juming. The type species is Crichtonsaurus bolini, and the name means Crichton's lizard. It's named for the author Michael Crichton. And the species name is in honor of Berger Bolin, a Swedish paleontologist who went on expeditions in China in the 1930s and described many ankylosaurs and also found the tooth of Peking man. That's random. Yeah. (laughs) So they found a lower left jaw and three teeth, and two other specimens have been referred to Crichtonsaurus. They included the vertebrae, shoulder blade, humerus, thigh bone, coracoid foot bones, and osteoderms. They're missing that all-important skull, (laughs) which is how a lot of the ankylosaurs are named and sort of classified. True. In 2014, Victoria Arbor said that the two specimens, though, couldn't be referred because there was no overlapping material to compare. And she also said that the holotype didn't have any unique characteristics and that Crichtonsaurus bolini was a nomum dubium. And then in 2007, Lu Jingchang and others described a second species called Crichtonsaurus benchiensis, and that species name refers to the Benchi Geological Museum. It was found in the same formation, the Sunjiawan formation, as the same one that the type species was found, and they found a complete skull. Oh. And so Gregory Paul suggested that Crichtonsaurus benchiensis was a junior synonym of Crichtonsaurus bolini, but Arbor found some differences between the two species in the shoulder blades. Though she found Crichtonsaurus bolini to be a nomum dubium, she suggested that Crichtonsaurus benchiensis was a new genus, Crichtonpelta benchiensis. She found other unique traits to Crichtonpelta, including a small bone on the cheek that pointed upwards. And Arbor also said that a skeleton at the Sihutun Fossil Museum, known as Crichtonsaurus bolini, is probably Crichtonpelta bensiensis. In 2015, Crichtonpelta was formally published and then became a separate genus, and it was published by Victoria Arbor and Phil Curry. So Crichtonpelta means Crichton small shield. Yeah, pelta is a pretty common suffix for ankylosaurs for sure. Mm-hmm. And four Crichton Pelta specimens have been found. The holotype, which was found in the Sunjiawan formation. A second skeleton without a skull found in the same quarry. There's the Sihutun Fossil Museum specimen. And a fourth specimen that was described in 2017 by Jing Taoyang and others that had a skull but no front snout. But it came from the same quarry as the others. So fortunately, it looks like Crichton Pelta is probably here to stay, mm-hmm. even though Crichtonsaurus is a goner. <laughs> yes. Well, they're all technically goners, right? <laughs> I suppose that's true. <laughs> so the Crichton Pelta holotype is a bit larger than Crichtonsaurus was estimated to be. It's about 3 to 4 meters long, or about 10 to 13 feet. And if you want to learn a little bit more or read it in another form, we actually mentioned Crichton Pelta in our book, The Top 10 Dinosaurs of 2015, because that's when it was formally published. Nice. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 